Mina, Gon Bonwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Back with some more Job, and we're in a very positive part of Job right now. That's it's weird. It's surprising. It's like, her? Where'd that come from? Where'd all this good, positive, friendly stuff come from? Job is recounting his days from back when he wasn't covered in boils, when his wife wasn't telling him to curse God, when he had his property, when he had his land, when he had his wealth, when he had his children, when he hadn't lost everything. He had some good times, and I want to read those a little bit. Just, just a little bit, because this is like, wow, this is some good stuff. This is Job 29, starting at verse 7. When I went out to the gate by the city, when I took my seat in the open square, the young men saw me and hid, and the aged arose and stood. The princes refrained from talking and put their hand on their mouth. Princes, royalty, shut their mouth before him. The voice of nobles was hushed, and their tongue stuck to the roof of their mouth. When the ear heard, then it blessed me, and when the eye saw, then it approved me, because I delivered the poor who cried out, the fatherless and the one who had no helper. The blessing of a perishing man came upon me, and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy. I put on righteousness, and it clothed me. My justice was like a robe and a turban. I was eyes to the blind, and I was feet to the lame. I was a father to the poor, and I searched out the case that I did not know. I broke the fangs of the wicked, and, I, and plucked the victim from his teeth. Guys, can any of us say half? Change that. Can any of us say a single one of those things? about our lives. I've been doing the Christian thing for 20 years. I uh, give to my church on a fairly regular basis. Um, I certainly try to counsel my friends, both lost and saved, in the ways that I think are right. And some of my friends have told me they take my words pretty seriously. Um, they do care. Hey, I can claim, well, they're not princes or nobles. I can kind of claim part of 10% of one of it? It's not much. It ain't very much. How many of us can claim the things that Job just claimed? When he says he's clothed himself in righteousness and he swears, you know, I have done nothing wrong. I do what's right. I follow the Lord. I will not admit to doing anything wrong because I don't do things that are wrong. He wasn't being arrogant or self-righteous. This guy was the man. He was always looking out for those in need. He was always helping those in need. And he was always putting down, actively helping to put down those who were doing unrighteous things. And he had to suffer all the crap that he had to suffer. Most of us can't, most of us can't claim, I've already mentioned we can't claim, you know, like, uh, all the pain that he suffered. I've even told in my previous videos, people who are even suffering cancer, you need to close your mouth. You're not suffering as much as this man did. If you have a single friend who actually cares about you and is speaking comforting words to you, you have more than Job had. And if you're on your way to heaven, well, you're on your way to God. And it's the way all men will go at some point. And that's a bit of a harsh statement, but at the same time, we all need to recognize and see Job really has, if you can claim more suffering than Job, then that means you've lost all of your children, all of your wealth, all of your property in one day, and then you've lost all of your health and you're in constant pain and agony from the crown of your head to the tip of your toes from morning till evening, day after day after day. If you can't say that, you haven't suffered like Job. You simply haven't. I don't care, I don't care who's died around you. I don't care what health condition you have. I don't care if you're dying. That's brutally harsh and honest. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat this or make it nice. Uh, there's no reason to. Life isn't always nice, and sometimes when we are in desperate situations, what we need is a good heavy dose of the truth to wake us up and help us get back on our feet and help help us start seeing the world from a god from a godly perspective. On the other side of this, can a single one of us claim a single statement that Job said and mean it and be true? I can't. I've been doing the Christian thing for 20 years. I can claim <clears throat> like one one hundredth of one sentence on a very. I have some friends who do come to me for counsel. I lead. A, I lead a little uh, 
lead a little group in my church. Um, do a little, and it's not even a teaching group. It's really just a fun time group. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's it's, it's good. It's great. I'm helping my church. You know, I'm trying to minister, but I can't claim what Job did. Not a tenth, just barely a hundredth. Guys, we don't know what it means to suffer. We also don't really know what it means to serve the Lord. We have a long way to go as a church. This positive message of Job ended up being a giant wham. Um, it just kind of... I love reading how wonderful he did his stuff. And I was like, you know, I should encourage other people to do the, the wonderful things that Job did. And it just occurred to me, I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere close. Nowhere close. We are talking about one of the greats of the Bible. So I guess that's not incredibly surprising, but let's shoot for the stars, guys. Let's shoot for the heavens, because that's where our Lord Jesus is. Let's do our very best, keep living for him, and I believe it is possible to one day hit the highs that Job hit. It's scary to think of hitting the lows that Job hit. That's very terrifying. But none of us can control a single thing in this life. Not the, We can't control the good things that come our way. We can't control the bad things that come our way. What we can control are the good and bad things that come out of our heart. And then out of our mouth, out of our thoughts, and out of our actions. So let's live for God in all of those ways and entrust Him with all the circumstances. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. God bless.